Oh, yeah, family. It's about to get popping in here tonight. Uh, shout out to everybody in the chat. Uh, about to bring on Dr. B in a second. As usual, I want y'all to get comfortable. Uh, so, so much stuff going on. Things are heating up down here, family. Things are heating up. But uh, hit that like button. Tell your friends and family that we are now live. We're about to have a real good conversation tonight. And I'll be back in about one minute, family, after these quick commercials. Not become the person. family we are back shout out to everybody in the chat all right uh without further ado want to bring on the one and only dr b serious welcome back my brother it's great to be here it's an honor indeed indeed oh man when i say there's a lot going on that is not an understatement that is not an understatement my brother things are heating up as uh you and billy said it would in the god year in the seven year in this year of god power and uh, a lot of revelations um, being made, a lot of things that we people thought they wouldn't see until the end of times are happening. Uh, I mean, just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, one of the things that was just recently talked about, Dr. B, let me show you this real quick, um, is uh, they said, now they're saying there's actual proof of alien life. Self-proclaimed UFO experts show alleged aliens to Mexico, Mexico's Congress. Now, this is literally, literally just happened today. I don't even know I was going to show this today, but I said this would be interesting to start the show out with since we're talking about angels or angles of light. But this is the actual uh, footage of the alien that they are claiming that uh, was found. Um, as they, as you can see, this the figure looks kind of like ET. If any of you remember that movie from back in the day but i believe it's like um you know tiny alleged aliens which lay in two boxes during a hearing are likely about a thousand years old according to analysis conducted by the national autonomous university of mexico the bodies were recovered underground in peru in 2017 and found wrapped in algae which helped preserve the entities so yeah so this is a figure right here and they're saying they are not mummies. They are complete bodies that have not been manipulated. Uh, let me show you another picture. <clears throat> That's another picture. All right. So, yeah, just wanted to show to share that real quick. Another thing that's also happening that I thought was quite interesting. You know, earthquakes are going. I mean, so many things happening across the world. But this, um, these rainbows are being seen everywhere. Now, I know rainbows carry a huge spiritual significance and actually, on 9-11 yesterday in New York, it was a double rainbow. Uh, so let me just show this so I could start this show off before Dr. B goes in, goes in. Let me just uh, see if I can pull this one up real fast. But yeah, there was a double rainbow that appeared over uh, NYC, 9-11. Everybody knows what happened, 9-11, 2001, the Twin Towers um, collapsed. Uh, many different theories about exactly what happened, but let me show this right here. Just some of the interesting things that are going on. That um, yeah. So we had a double rainbow emerges over NYC on a twenty, a double rainbow on a twenty second anniversary. The two two, like these numbers, you can't make this up, family. Anniversary of nine eleven, two ones. Can't make this up, family. 
Can't make that. I don't know what's going on. I don't know who, who's Twin Rainbows, Twin Towers. Twin Rainbows went over the Twin Towers, where the Twin Towers is at, in New York City on 9-11. Yeah, so very. those are real pictures, too. Very interesting things going on, Dr. B. With that being said, this is a seven-year. Y'all said there will be a lot of interesting occurrences happening this year. A lot of people are tapping in. Things are happening at, at more than ever to people on the spiritual internal level. Internal level, Dr. B., what's up, man? Talk to me about everything going on, my brother. Good to have you talk about this, my brother. Well, my challenge is to convert what's happening happening into English. That's a mm. real challenge. Um, some things are what you call ineffable. Ineffable means it can't be spoken, it can't be explained. Or a mystery is another thing that can't be explained. Right. So we're going to attempt to use references to tap into the part of us that does have some idea and meaning behind some of these events. So the year being a seven mm -hmm. has a lot to do with seven being a G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Mm -hmm. This is why G is a the generator. It's the source of a spiral. So if you take a G and continue it around and keep going, it makes a spiral. It's the beginning of the golden mean, you see. But what happens is, is that first, when you enter life, you don't know much. You're learning. You're absorbing. You're 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 modeling. Right. And then you get to this point where you recognize who you are. So just take a seven and go straight across, make a little flat mm -hmm. line. Then you come down all of a sudden. When you come down, you make an angle. Mm -hmm. When you make an angle, all of a sudden, now you have a reference from where you were. You didn't know much. Now you begin to look back at yourself. When you begin to look back at yourself, that's when you begin to spiral Right. Because a spiral is a like a circle, but it's constantly expanding. So at seven, you begin to expand your consciousness, expand your mind, expand your life to a level where now you become an individual. Mm -hmm. You are now crystallizing your imagination and a seven year old will realize really quickly that what they imagine begins to happen until the parents begin to talk them out of themselves. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times the parents are trained to talk you out of yourself, to talk you out of what you're seeing, hearing and feeling that might not be mainstream. See, if you if you have ideas and feelings and actions in ways that are not mainstream, it is the mainstream's job to try to get you back into the mainstream. Otherwise, you know, you got a problem. You got ADD, DDA, HTTP, <laughs> all these different, is that a disease? HTTP, that's a new one. But, you yeah. know, they're giving you all these things to say that your child's not normal. And normalcy is an issue because now we take away your true creativity and your individuality and your difference. You see, diversity is most important because nothing in nature is the same. Everything is, is spiraling different, acting different, moving different. Nothing repeats itself, you see. So you get to a point where the whole planet, right, begins to change its frequency because we're in a different place on in the galaxy. We're in a different place. The earth is not in the same place. It's not staying in the same place. You know what I'm saying? Going around the sun. In fact, the, you know, uh, the earth is not going around the sun. It's spiraling around the sun. It's spiraling. And the moon is spiraling around the earth. You see? And then the sun is spiraling around Vega. I mean, I'm uh, serious. Sirius is spiraling around Vega. So the Vega is spiraling around Lyra. Now, some people will say, Dr. B, you're a little out there. Admit, well, that's not, that's not scientifically correct. None of it. Scientifically correct doesn't mean a fact. These are just theories and ideas that are meant to try to explain something that's almost unexplainable. When you get to a place where the earth is spinning at a different rotation, water, the vibration of water has changed. 
The molecules of everything has changed. The particles, the subatomic particles, the strings within the particles are beginning to vibrate differently in everything. Everything is changing. We're evolving. We're growing. We're expanding. That's all of us, everybody, whether you're conscious or not, doesn't make any difference. This thing is speeding up. They used to call it the quickening. So during the quickening, you're going to be you're going to begin to see things and feel things and experience things that were not normal to the normal world. Because we got used to things since like the 60s, almost things are almost the same. We explain things the same. We talk the same. You see, so to be different, right, is sometimes weird. But a lot of people are beginning to feel different, see different, and they're beginning to be able to actually experience the shift that's happening on the planet, in the universe, in the cosmos, they're beginning to feel it. They're beginning to experience it. So let's go real quick to rainbows. If you want to go biblical, the rainbow seems to have to do with change. This is this whole Moses thing. When you see the rainbows, you know, we're going to stop the flood. It means you've made it. You see, these are analogies. The flood has to do with us being in the waters. Mm -hmm. So when let's let's talk about the dragonfly for a minute. Mm -hmm. When the dragonfly is born, is born in water. It's a nymph. It doesn't even have gills. It doesn't breathe. It doesn't breathe oxygen underwater. It just absorbs oxygen and it, it, it just eats and eats and eats. That's all it does doesn't have reproductive organs, can't go to the movies and play and have fun. Its job is just to voraciously in, uh, take in uh, material. It's like basically in survival mode. It's greedy. But then all of a sudden, the nymph gets a signal and crawls up on a reed. A vibration begins to happen and it crawls out of the water. The water represents emotion. The emotions of this world, the world of, of, of victimization, the world of, you know, me versus them. That's what the water, that's what the flood represents. When the nymph crawls up the reed. For the first time, it begins to breathe oxygen, air from from out, you know, from the, its environment. It's seeing things it never saw before. It's in a different world. It's in a different vibration. The energy speeds up because now it's receiving sunlight. It didn't receive much sunlight in the water. So it's actually, it's actually moving from one dimension, one vibration to another vibration. As it's on that, what, that reed, all of a sudden now it's got to expand its wings. Because it can't just sit there on that reed for long because other animals and bugs and things are going to come get it. The frog is looking for it. So it's got to work quickly. And what it does is on, on automatic, it begins to pump the water that its body is full of out into its wings. Mm hmm so when it expands its wings, it's able to fly. Mm -hmm. When you take the water that you were in, all the stuff that you went through in the past, and use that to expand your wings, you can fly. All the stuff that we've been through, we're supposed to take that and use it like the water that the, like the, like the, the dragonfly uses to pump its wings and fly. So we're all supposed to be ready to fly now. Mm. You're going to get a signal and a change in vibration, which is going to fracture the light. Mm -hmm. Because when rainbows are happening, it's because the light is going through a prism. Mm -hmm. A prism, right? A light is coming as whole, right? There's all these frequencies. But what happens is, is when it goes through a prism, it gets broken up into these, you know, individual frequencies you can see. And you call them colors, which are basically the same colors as the rainbow. You see? It's fractured light. It's light, but it's giving you a message to let you know that it's time, right, to move. It's time to get it together. It's time to fly. It's time to spread your wings. This is a shift. The people are seeing rainbows in places in ways they never saw them before. Not everybody is seeing them because some people are looking and don't even see them because their frequency cannot pick it up. There's things in a room right now that are moving through a room or there's things happening in the sky and the clouds that a lot of people can't see. Did you know that the clouds are living beings? No. Come on, they got to be. First of all, you're looking at the cloud and all of a sudden they start showing you animals, people. The, the clouds are communicating. That's water. That's water molecules that have come together and water is a living being. 
Water is living. It's alive. So vaporized water is water that's kind of like, you know, it's 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 a higher vibration of water. It's light. The clouds begin to show you things. You might have something on your mind. And all of a sudden you see a coyote. Mm -hmm. Why is there a coyote in the clouds? Other people can't see. It. You're trying to show me. See that coyote in the clouds? Then you begin to go look up the spiritual representation of a coyote. And it's deep because it's a message for you. Because everything is alive. It's all alive. So there are things that are happening in the environment that are giving you a signal that it is time to let the past go. Let the waters of emotion and the victimhood and the blame and all that stuff go and move into this next place where it's going to be more about love, leaning towards love, leaning towards more harmony. So the rainbows and a lot of the things that we're seeing now, even some of the ships are us from the future and from other time periods and other dimensions coming to us, giving you a signal that it's time to ride. But a lot of folks are so caught in the past, right? They're, they're, and that disagreeable past is like an adversary. It's fighting you because you know you can't stay in the moment and absorb everything that's happening in the moment if you're living in the past. But we've been programmed to believe that that past is important and you could change it because you can't, but you can't. Nothing you could do to change the past, but you can use it as the waters of pain, the waters of trouble, the waters of the past. And you could pump that into your wings and realize that whatever was happening to you was happening for you and from you to help you become the higher person. The next level of people, we're, you know, we're evolving. We're not going to have the same bodies. We're not going to be the same people. Most people are not going to be here. First of all, this thing is like, you know, you can see what's happening. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's nature, right, is getting rid of things. Nature always does this that are inferior. We've had a long time to develop here. And a lot of us have just gotten stuck in a place of, you know, just pure emotions. I mean, we at least got to balance emotion with logic. You see, but we're a lot of times so triggered, we're not able to do it because we don't realize that the field we got to go out into the field. Let me read this poem. Let me find the poem here. <coughs> Are you hip to Rumi, the poet? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is really good. Oh, yeah. Check, check out Rumi. R-U-M-I, y'all. Out beyond ideas of wrongdoing and right doing, there's a field. I'll meet you there. <laughs> when the soul lies down in that grass, the world is too full to talk about. That's deep. What are we saying? When you go out into the field, the quantum field, which is just, you know, all possibilities. Mm. It's all waves and possibilities. And it's up to you, right? In the field of possibilities, if you lay down in that grass, right? Let me say it again. Out beyond the ideas of wrongdoing and right doing, there's a field. Because in the quantum field, there's no right and there's no wrong. There's no up, there's no down. Mm -hmm. I'll meet you there. Who? You, your original self. Your original self will meet you in the field. Mm -hmm. When the soul lies down, when you lie down in that grass, huh? the world is too full to talk about. You ain't going to have nothing to say because your words mean nothing. Because now it's about being and it's allowing yourself to be yourself. A lot of folks are talking about their higher self. First of all, you got to get to yourself. What am I talking about? A lot of folks keep talking about who they are. But what they don't realize is the story that they're telling themselves, because these are all movies and stories, are not based in facts. They're just based in beliefs and things that you've conjured up. Over many, many years. That's not who you totally are because your perception of what really is is very small. Just like the rainbow. That's a small section of the frequency range that we can recognize. That thing is huge. Mm -hmm. If you could see the whole rainbow, if you could see the whole frequency spectrum, it would change you. You'd know right away when you got that signal. You wouldn't question it. What do rainbows mean? You know, I need to change. It's a time to shift. Just like when you see comets, 
That's a time of change. It's a time of shift. The old stuff is not going to work no more. The old talk is not going to work. You're going to have to tap into the God power within you because you've had it all time. You've had it forever. It's in the divinity code. And the divinity code is based in what sacred geometry, like the flower of life, right? And the star tetrahedron, all of that is in your cells. It's in your cells. Your cells are your cells. And your cells are ready and willing to expand and become something new. Something you got to go to the next degree. But you have to let go. You have to go out into the field. You have to go and lay down in that grass and let go. But this is this is a challenging thing for people to let go. Because they don't have the blueprint to tap into their original selves. Mm. They haven't been taught that. Mm -hmm. They weren't given that because when you were when you were raised, you were raised to be subservient. Mm -hmm. You were raised to be a slave. The average person has chronic servitude syndrome. Mm -hmm. What the heck is that? Like, you know, Billy, he's, he, he was on my uh, webinar on Saturday and he said, you know, they have found what they call the worship gene. The worship gene, a gene that was put there by some beings to get you to worship them and to worship things outside of you worship basically to your vibrational self is phonetically the same as worship worship is worship you think it sounds different don't you well you know what i mean no it means a warship you're fighting you've been taught to fight you've been taught that everything is stronger than you and you've got to fight for survival you see and that keeps you on the warship if you're worshiping and you've got a gene that's got you worshiping, then and you're fighting. You're fighting your own original self. And you don't even realize it. And you're allowing, right? We allow people to make us mad, to make us angry. We allow people. We allow ourselves to live so far in the past that we can't get to the present. So the rainbows are telling you it's time. This is the end. I'm telling you now, listen to me now. This is the end of 2023. Mm -hmm. this is the last few months three mm -hmm. months or whatever it is mm -hmm. to get your beep 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 together mm. but you just want to go along to get along you just want to live the life you came to live and see and this is why there's such a push to be fake right now it's so man brother it's deep when you look at this I'm looking at the world man yeah. Most of it is just fake, fake talk, fake news, fake people, fake hair, fake everything. We just fake it. Fake personalities, fake titles. People just fake. Why? Because they allow themselves to become fake because fake is the new thing. That's the fashion. And the word fashion comes from the word fascist. Or fascism. And fascism is when a, 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 a military takes over the government creates an emergency and says that now we got to suspend all your rights because we got to protect you because there's an adversary who's the adversary about to be the aliens mm. the aliens are just letting it out the aliens are coming the aliens are coming the aliens been here what you talking about but if i can scare you with it if i can make you think that something is all that has already been here is new and you get afraid of it because the aliens gonna have more power than humans how you know do you know that we are beings that have some of the highest <clears throat> personal organic technology of anything out there? Did you know that? We're at the highest order. Some of these little beings, you saw them little, them little stone creatures that were supposed to be wrapped in seaweed. Did you, they look like they, they don't look like you. You're scared of them? When I saw the little dudes, man, I told them, I said, get the hell off my property. Get the hell off my property. This is Mr. Gilmore's property. <laughs> If you talk to them like that, they leave. If you tell people who you think or beings that you think are in authority, right, you stand in courage. What the heck is courage? That's when you know you have, the, there is no place for fear. When you're in courage, when you're encouraged, when you're encouraged and you have encouraged yourself to be yourself for yourself with yourself and you stand even alone. All of those things that you calling, you know, adversaries and evil and you know what I'm saying? It's gone. 
Dick okay. Gregory told me, he says, man, we was on an airplane and they th that thing was going to crash. They said that it was going to crash. It was going to hit a mountain. They prepared everybody to die. And he said, people was on the plane screaming and hollering and, oh, my God, they was taking the aspirins and breathing and, you know, whatever they was doing, this was it. And Dick Gregory said he went into meditation. And he became pure courage. And he became pure love. Dick Gregory said he was so... He was so immersed and vibrating, right, and generating love that the plane just missed the mountain. Mm. And they couldn't believe what happened. Dick Gregory said one person standing with pure courage, one person standing with pure love will affect 250,000 people around them. That's some high technology. We all have that. We're like lighthouses. The difference is, is we, you know, the lighthouse is always blinking, sending out Moore's code, the Moore's code, dot, dash, 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 dot, 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 dash, dash. That's the Moore's code, right? And why is that thing blinking? It is letting the boats right on the ocean know where the shore is, where the rocks are, where the, you know, where there could be a problem. It's just guiding them into port. The lighthouse. Does the lighthouse ever go off? Out in Connecticut, out there in Long, Long Island, they got a lighthouse. Does it go off? It's always blinking. Mm -hmm. The difference is most people is blinking. <clears throat> they're stopping. They're turning off their lighthouse. When I say blinking, they're in a long blink. What am I talking about? Where you, where you at, Dr. B? Come on back. Come on back. <sighs> Once you're in pure love, once you're in pure courage, without anybody else offering you anything and without asking anybody if it's okay, you begin to send out a wave of energy. And now you can walk out into the field of where there is no right and there is no wrong. And in that field, you can lay in that grass and become the new being. But you got to let go. You have to be ready to be the lighthouse at all times. You have to be ready to send your message out at all times. And when you see the rainbow, you need to know that that's your message. That's the signal that we were getting. Because in the last three months of this year, we're about to step out of this into an eight vibration. So what is an eight? Eight means that now you're a God. You're supposed to have gotten your blueprint for God power, right? You, you Did you get it? You need a blueprint for God power to get into an eight vibration correctly after all the hell you've been through because you was born in sin and taught all this craziness and they mess with your mind. They mess with colors and sounds and frequencies. They're messing with your music. They're messing with your water, your food, your clothes, everything to get you to be fake. Because when you're fake and when you're plastic, you are not, you can't be in pure courage. The reason why you're fake because you're not courageous and you have the fear of missing out. And losing, I'm not looking, you know, I, I, I want to look good. I want to look cute. I want to look fine. I want to look like everybody else. I'm going to use that same filter that, that he used on his, on his, uh, you know, uh, IG. It's all about being fake because as long as you're fake and long as you're plastic and you're not being real, you're not being authentic, you're not being transparent, then guess what? You will not make it into the eight vibration because eight is a, is a God that can build or destroy because eight is theta. Eta is theta. The eta is theta, which is, which is the letter H. -a. H. You dropping it, brother. H, right, Damn. is an eight. It's a bridge between two worlds, between two places. When you're in an eight vibration, you're in a place where you could go left or right, up or down. Past, present, future, present tense. You see, you're in an eight, so you're on the bridge. You're on the bridge between worlds. I need you to hear me now. First, at seven, you become, you, you turn on your God power. It comes online. Everybody got it. And you think God power means being good. No, you could be crazy as hell and have God power. People, cra people, are, people are way out right now. They're doing the most. Way out. Did you see the guy, bro, Brother Rich? Do you heard about the guy who was a criminal? He was in prison. And he scaled up the wall like a spider. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They still trying to figure this out. Yeah. <laughs> My man, they said it was impossible for him to do it. He didn't think it was impossible. 
<laughs> they forgot to give him the memo. My man went up the wall like Spider Man. Then they said he's not gonna get past the razor wire. Guess what? By the time they said razor wire, he was over the wall. Mm. Because some people are using all the power they got in the natural being, right? Your natural being is much more powerful than you can perceive. It's ineffable. But you got to be ready to go out into the field, right? The field of possibilities and be the most. When you do that now, right? In this year, right? You get into the eight vibration next year. And that eight, now you can build or destroy. H, eta is <clears throat> theta. Theta is in between two worlds. The theta state is in between sleeping and awake. That's the dreamy state you get into called meditation. Just when you wake up in the morning, right? That state that you're in, it's like, you know, it's a little misty. You're not sure who you are yet. And just before you go to sleep, you're in this misty place. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, in, in Blueprint for God Power, we're going to talk about this dream time meditation that you do. There's a dream time meditation that you do when you're about to go into the world of rest, when you're about to go into dream time. If you don't put these codes in the computer just before you rest, then the computer just goes wild and just picks up anything. It's just all kinds of just debris. What I don't know. You weren't focusing on anything. You weren't being the lighthouse. You didn't have courage and love on your mind. You were thinking about all the things that happened today that you could have did and should have did. You're thinking about the past. You're thinking about some future that's never going to come because when the future comes now, they call it to now. Right? So if you're doing all that, when you go into your dream time, that becomes the material, that becomes the code, that becomes the data that be gets plugged into the fertile earth subconscious. And what does it do? You water it all night when you're sleeping. What you're doing is watering and fertilizing the mm. ideas that you had just before you went into dream time. Yeah. Now, if your ideas are courage, love, peace, balance, beauty, you begin to allow yourself to be your best self. Never mind your higher self. Some of that stuff, these are just words. Your higher self. Well, what is the higher self? Well, how do you know where you're at? How do you know what low and high is? Everybody High and low means something to everybody else. Some folks' vibration is a little too high. They need to turn that stuff down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's how you got the highest vibration. Well, maybe we need, some people need a lower vibration because their frequency is too high. They can't sleep. They can't stop their mind. I talk to a lot of clients that can't sleep. Because their vibration is too high. They're thinking all the time. Everything in the environment affects them. You know, every sound, everything affects them. So they can't, they have ch challenges resting. Because you got to go into a restful place so that you can obtain what you need because there's this duality that happens when you're in the theta state. You are able to build or destroy. Next year is going to be about building and destroying. And in order to really build, you're going to have to destroy some things. Some of them friendships, you're going to have to destroy. Some of the connections you got to your clothes, you're going to have to get rid of. You hear what I said? Your clothes. Mm. What are you talking about, Doc? Well, if you wear, right, the better fabrics like linen, linen emits and gives you 5,000 volts of electricity that you can use. Wool gives you 5,000 volts of electricity that you could use. Organic cotton gives you 100, positive 100 volts of electricity that you can use, organic cotton. Regular cotton, inorganic cotton, sucks 100 volts of electricity from your body. Rayon, even silk, and a whole lot of these other fi fibers that we're wearing are sucking electricity from your body. Did you know this? Look it up. Mm. Don't, don't listen to Dr. B. So a lot of people are involved in these artificial ways. They're artificial. It's not real. It's, 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 it's sucking your energy out. If your clothes are sucking energy because that's your outfit, that's your habit, that's your outfit, that's how you show up with these clothes. And some people want to be super fashionable so, fashionable, so they go buy the cheap version of something that looks good, but it's polyester or it's rayon. Or some mix, it's got cotton in it, <laughs> but it's sucking the energy out of them. But now let's go even deeper. 
and I'm going to say this. I, you know, somebody told me I shouldn't say this, but I'm just going to say it. Man, where are they getting all this hair from? Mm. Where is this hair coming from? You know, you can go buy hair, right? Where is it coming from? Think about this for a second. You think there should be a whole, there should be whole parts of the world where everybody's bald. As much hair as they got, 24 inches of this and that, and the, the Brazilian hair, the, such a, they got this, a new hair every, every, where's it coming from? Why is it such a big thing right now for you to wear either someone else's hair, someone, or, or some synthetic fibers? Why is it a big push to do that? Because you need to be normal, because normalcy, right, cause you to be blind. So you're going to do what the crowd does and all the rest of the sheep, right? Even though they got their own wool. I told you wool is 5,000 votes. Did you know that the, could you imagine a sheep wearing some, like the cow's hair? What would happen if in one animal chose somebody else's wool or somebody else's fur? It would die. Because you're, you, what you have naturally is so powerful, but you begin to cover it up to be a part to be a part of the fake up and the makeup and the look up and the all of this stuff that they tell you to get into, what they're attempting to do is to keep you from ever reaching your God power. So you got all this stuff that you're doing, right? You're putting these in, in you know, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. I'm going to leave it alone since we're on a very controversial station. Brother Rich is always very controversial. <laughs> what's, what's up with the eyelashes? Mm. Do you have any idea what the eyelashes are doing to you? Mm. I was talking to the doctor one day and the doctor told me his friends are optometrists and they're making more money than they've ever made because the glue and the vapor in the glue and the chemicals in the lashes are, is seeping into the, 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 the skin of the eye. It causes blindness. Now you, now, you might be not be totally blind, but you can't see reality. Did you hear what I just said? Because you want to look a certain way because this is the look. This looks pretty. This looks beautiful. Who told you that? The people that's selling them? I'm not saying don't use them. I'm just saying you need to think. Stop a little bit and think for a minute. What's really going on here? Is that really you? Because I don't know who you are if you got all this stuff on. And why are you not being who you really are? Because everything, right, in this world, right, that we have been used to is designed to cause you to fail and to be blind, deaf, dumb, ignorant, foolish, and, and lose. And what? To have what? Chronic servitude syndrome. To be a slave to the oppressor. Who is the oppressor? A lot of times the oppressor is you. You're oppressing yourself. You're depressing yourself. You're suppressing yourself by wanting to be like everybody else. And most of the people are going to hell in a handbasket. There's nothing you can do about it. Now, I don't know what a handbasket is, but they used to say that back in the day. And I, I, I don't know. It's, it's deep. If you look at how fake people have become, people don't know how to be real. A friend asked me one day, so well, Dr. B, how you doing? I said, not too good today. He said, well, that's good, man. He just kept walking. Right? He didn't even hear that I said, I wasn't doing too good. If, if you're not doing too well, you might say that one day to somebody, right? And they, they don't, they hear their mind does course correction automatically and they hear what they need to hear. Because people don't always speak the truth. Because we're used to a world that's plastic. We're, we've been shaped. We're, we're like polyvinyl chloride. We listen to the music. It's just not all of it, but a lot of the music is just fake. It's just a loop. So what's happening is, is everything, right, is being created for you to keep you as a slave, to keep you a part of the commerce, to keep you believing in some stuff. Even some of the stuff that you're causing, calling spirituality don't mean nothing. You think it does. But spirituality truly means to be constantly changing and growing. And we're constantly changing and growing, just like the earth. Just like the planet, just like the cosmos. So what's happening is when you start seeing the rainbows like this and you start seeing all these events happening, there's signals. And it's wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Flush out the fake stuff. Stop being fake. 
You might need to take them high heel shoes off because where they come from anyway. And how, how, why are you up like that, walking like that? Is that natural? That's keeping you off the earth, to keeping you away from the tone and the frequency of the earth that's going to guide you into the new world. Why are you wearing all this stuff, talking all this stuff, and getting involved with things that's just, you know, it's fashionable. It's fascism. It's a control model. It's artificial intelligence. So what I'm saying is, right now, we're getting the message. If you look outside, have you seen all the dragonflies? Have y'all seen the dragonflies? They're everywhere, because the dragonfly is a symbol, too. The monarch butterflies, the, I've been seeing black butterflies. Black butterflies are supposed to be really rare. Well, why all of a sudden is it black butterflies all over the sky? They're symbols of things that are happening to let you know that we are changing. And our, our imaginal cells are coming online because inside of our gene pool, there's these imaginal cells. And the imaginal cells come online based on what you're imagining. They begin to create based on your imagination. Please look up imaginal cells. This is what creates the, the takes the caterpillar to, into the cocoon into a butterfly. We're supposed to be becoming butterflies and dragonflies right now as a, as a people. But as long as we're caught up in the BS, in the fear, you know what I'm saying? As long as we're caught up in the anger and, you know, we don't trust anybody. We're not willing to, to take time where we need it fast. We need it quick. We know microwave it. The, the, the signal got to be faster. Everything needs to happen now. Why? Because that gets you to miss the bus, the big bus. You know, to get on a bus, you know, if you ever ride a bus or a train, here's a better one, train. You need a certain ticket and there's many train tracks out there. You need to know what, what, what ticket you got, what track is coming on, and what time is coming. If you get on the wrong train, right, you may have to go all the way to the end of the line and come back because you're on the wrong train. Who trained you to be on the wrong train? Who's controlling? Who's pulling the strings here? Right. But when you're one person, when you're one person in true love, one person in true courage, you know when you see the rainbow. You know when you see the ships. You know when you hear certain words what that means. That means it's time to get on board. The train whistle is blowing. And this is it, y'all. Because after this, after this particular time period that we're in, this thing is going to, the velocity is going to be speeding up too quick for you to change tracks. Right, right. I know I said a lot. I don't even know what you asked me, brother. Forgive me. I'm, I'm You know what happens. I, I, I just wanted to, I just gave a little context to what's going on. And uh, yeah, man, you went in, brother. You went in about these energies that's hitting the planet at this time. I guess so, <clears throat> Dr. B, so... <clears throat> I guess it's safe to say since this year is a frequency of seven, um, certain downloads, certain information that's hitting this planet this year, is it going to be available next year? Because next year comes with a different set of information. Is that because a lot of people, people like to procrastinate a lot on getting themselves together. But if they miss this year, they're going to miss certain information. Is that how it works, Dr. B? Uh, let's go back for a second. Hold on to that question. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about this thing mm -hmm. that we're talking about just, you know, right now. Mm -hmm. And I was in the grocery store mm -hmm. and I was about to check out. And the lady said, did you find everything you needed? And I decided to look around and I looked in the, the you know, that magazine sitting there. Mm -hmm. Guess what I see? The magazine says how to overcome imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. Harvard Business Review Special Inner a uh, special issue boost your confidence, build credibility, and lead more off live lead more authentically. Did you see this? Mm -hmm. Look at it the fake nose, the glasses with no glass in them, and the lashes. The lashes are lashes. You're getting your ass whooped. That's lashes. Oh. This is in the, you can pick this up right now. Oh, yeah. They're telling you the business people like, you know, <laughs> look, we can make money off this. This is business. Boost your confidence, build <laughs> your credibility and lead more authentically. If you are not in that space now, you're going to need to get there because when next year comes after that vibration hits, it's going to be more and more challenging, not that you can't do it, for you to switch trains, to get on another track, because the velocity is building up so 
quickly. Mm. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to run extra fast to catch the missing bus. You could catch it, but you're going to be running. You go right now. You could just get on and ride. The information is coming on right now. This information is coming during this year. This year has been amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The information, the information that people got from God power one. And not just that, there's a lot of events that happened this year that never happened before. Right. A lot of things happened that have never happened before. And a lot of them are ineffable, not explainable. Mm. So what we're saying is, is that we're not trying to force you to get on and ride and raise to the, to, to the occasion and become the lighthouse. What we're saying is, is that you're getting a preview of what's to come. And what's to come is another vibration, which is going to be about building and destroying. But before you can be a God or a being that can build and destroy, you need to figure out what to build and what to destroy. So you won't build and destroy the wrong things because what's be happening right now, people don't realize what to, what to like and what not to like. They're being told what to like. People are being told what to do, how to think. It's amazing. It's I, I, This is really like, for me, you know, just, just thinking about from the 70s to now, it's amazing that they could just flash a symbol and say some things to you and get all these people just to go along with it like sheep. It's never been like this. Yeah. People have lost a lot of their individuality because they, you know, there's the fear of missing out, the fear of not being a part of something. So you'll join something that don't even make sense, right? Just to be on, 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 on online. So you got friends. I got people. Mm hmm. But we're all being challenged right now, too, because we're going through, you know, we're going through the, the shift. You know what I'm saying? When you go through that shift, it's like going from the southern hemisphere to the northern hemisphere, right? You can't just fly a plane directly across because mm -hmm. it's two different energies. The, the energy at the, the southern hemisphere is going one way and the, 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 the energy at the, the northern hemisphere is going the opposite way. So the plane really has to go across that thing very carefully. It's a certain angle. So you need to know what is your angle? What is the angle that you're on? You see, you have to realize that you are being right. You're living in this body as light. We're light creatures. Mm -hmm. Now you have to figure out your angle of your light. Mm. Light has to do with what you're emitting. See time, right? Is one thing, but then if you turn time backwards, you get emit. It's not what happened, what's happening with time. It's what are you doing with your time? How are you investing or spending? Huh? Two different things. Investing or spending your time. You need to have the right angle. To, write, to have the right angle means that you have to have the right attitude. Angle means attitude. In order to what? Get to a higher altitude, you have to change your, your angle, your attitude. Mm -hmm. And if you change your, you could, you could go disagreeable with your attitude. And guess what? Now you're descending. Uh -huh. That's your attitude is your angle. What angle is the line? See, my father was a draftsman and an engineer, and he tried to teach me all this when I was young. I didn't want to hear it. Uh -huh. Now I get it. You could get a straight edge, a straight edge, right? A ruler with no lines and a compass and actually create almost anything. My father told me this when I was what? Nine years old, I want to hear because he, he wanted me to learn this. But now I realize it's about the geometry and your angle and who you are. See, what, the reason why I said a straight edge without any line, without any numbers on it, a ruler without any numbers, because the numbers are like, they kind of fake. They, they kind of move depending on who you are and what number system you use and all that, what an inch is versus of that. You know, it's about judgment. I am saying that let's leave all that stuff alone and let's go blank for a second. Just a straight line. And realize that there's no true straight lines in nature. Everything is curved and all that. But you use it just so you can figure out what angle you're on. Once you get your angle, then you'll know about who you are. What is your angle? What are you really here to do? Not who they told you to be. Not what the school told you and the family and all that. Who are you at the root? Because right. down at the root, there's a divinity code. And you came here with special powers. Now, it's, it's, it's up to you to dig down and find them. And you can't say, well, they didn't teach me and all the things that happened to us. Yeah. See, all that stuff is the stuff that's supposed to train you and get you really ready. 
Oh, and um, Dr. B, I'm sorry to interrupt. Before I forget, because we talked about this. Uh, first of all, shout out to everybody in the chat. We got about 2,500 people in the chat. Make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I want to show y'all what Dr. B put together. This is just a clip for the people who purchased tickets for Blue po Blueprint for God Power Part 2. And the link is in the chat. So y'all know y'all got the seven sacred prayers. So y'all, it's like a whole package of stuff that basically you're not going to get from anywhere like this for this price. But let me show you all something. So um, I believe we're going to give this to y'all the day of the event. Uh, this um, The sacred seven sacred prayers you get with the 48 hours of purchasing your ticket. But check this out, family. Shout out to everybody who bought tickets. You in for a amazing experience. Yo, Dr. B went in on this one. Let me see. How do I get to How do I get to this? Give me one second, y'all. Um, give me one second. All right. I got all these files on my desktop. Check this out, y'all. can't give y'all too much <laughs> that, that well that that uh, how long is that piece there that's about what man i don't even know is it yeah that might be about minutes, 16? That, it might be about 20 20 minutes or something like that listen family whoever bought tickets wow y'all i was just listening to this as i was cleaning up today and uh, doing other activities today and wow, y'all, Dr. B, man, when I told you about the sound bath idea, you exceeded my expectations, my brother. I want to thank you so much for uh, taking it to the level you took it. I didn't know you was going to come like that, man. I'm just proud of this whole event, man. I said, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. The seven second prayers where you and Billy are, are, are talking about and speaking about the sound bath, the meditation album we got coming. I'm, I'm real proud to be a part of this, man. In the seven years, we're making history. Uh, we took it to another level. God, God part, part one was one level. We done took it to another level, my brother. And I just want to say you did an amazing job. I mean, absolutely amazing job. I mean, I, I feel so tapped in when I listen to that. I feel so calm. My son was in the room making noise. I wasn't even paying attention to him. I was able to go into this space where nothing else around me existed. And it was just me, that sound, and the calmness of my thoughts. 
And I'm like, I wasn't able to do that just last week because if I hear him scream or something or, or yell or drop something, my, I lose my focus. But now listening to that, Dr. B, this some this some other shit, man. This you done tapped in, brother. You are you might be one of them aliens that uh that the Mexican government. <laughs> you might be one of them, uh, man. Dr. B, you with it, man? Shout out to everybody who bought tickets. If you did, I advise you to get your ticket. Um, the ticket is 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 linked at the top of the chat. All right, it's it's it's, it's pinned at the top of the chat. It's also in the description. Uh uh. Leto said I messed up. No, I didn't mess up Dr. B's flow. No, 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 no. That's on the, that's for the people who bought tickets. You're not gonna get the whole thing. What you think? We gonna sit here for 30 minutes and you you gonna sit on your ass and shit. And zone no, out. No, no, no. Dr. B's he he put that together with special time, attention. And um, just yeah, shout out to everybody who bought tickets, but Dr. B, that that is amazing. And I, I really I really appreciate it, my brother. So I had to share that example with the people because we started with the seven sacred prayers. Now's that. Now that. I mean, this is just a lot. So thank you, my brother. And I'd like to say something about the instruments that I'm playing right there. Yes. Yes. A lot of people say, yeah, I saw those. I got one. I bought one. That instrument I'm playing only exists in my world. I created those. Those mm. are called medicine drums. Dr. B's medicine drums. Right. They're very special. They're not like the the ones you buy in you know in the store out there. They have a clay coating. They have seven metals, just like the singing bowls from Tibet, uh. right? And then inside, they're sprayed with a crystal dust. Whew. They're tuned. One of them I was playing was tuned to five twenty eight. The other one was tuned to four, to to, to four thirty two. Uh -huh. And what we're doing is we're creating a sacred space with those. Those are very unique instruments. And, you know, I, I was actually, you know, distributing them. I was making them for distrib distribution years and years ago. Uh -huh. And I may be bringing them back out. But they're different than any other out there because they're, 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 they're tuned to the frequencies. Some of the frequencies you got to get right on the edge. Yeah. And it's because of the neuromelanin needs to vibrate at certain frequencies before it comes online. Right. That's the, the dark melanin that's within each of our cells. Right. That the mitochondria is living in a bath of this neuromelanin. So that is about triggering the parts of us that tell us that, yes, we're ready to turn on the divinity code. Because there's a divinity code in everyone that is ready for you to turn it on. But to do that, you have to allow. Uh -huh. You can't try to do it. You can't study it. You can't learn it. It's a thing of unlearning and letting go. And that's a lot of what we're going to be talking about in, in this God power is how to allow yourself. It's different when you're working at something and trying something. It's work. But when you allow, mm -hmm. allow those frequencies, they actually open up the, the, the vortex or the, the channel of energy, the chimney at the top of the head, straight on through. So those are the parts of us right now that we have the ability to turn on that we may not have had before. Some of our ancestors and parents, they couldn't tap into this because you had to be, the planet had to be at a certain angle. Right. The angles of light have to be at a certain degree before certain things can happen. There's certain laws in the universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we are now at the right angle. We're at the angle, right? And this gets deep, so I, I, I'm just going to keep it short, but yeah. we're at this angle. We're at this pitch. Right now, the North Pole, right? They can't find it. You know, it's moving. They're saying, well, where is it? it the North Star ain't the North Star. Right. It's moving from what was it, Polaris before to another one. This, this whole thing is changing. So our thing is to be like the sails of a boat and catch the wind. If you just allow yourself to catch the wind, mm -hmm. you tap in because whatever your story is, is changing and you have the ability to change your story. <clears throat> what we're saying is time to change our stories Indeed. and stop telling the old fairy tales and the mm. fables. And, you know, and then sometimes we just, why we're having nightmares then we wake up and we're having daymares. Mm. Why? Because mm. we're allowing ourselves to tap into that. But now, you know, by tapping into fear, I mean, by tapping into courage and tapping into the real love, 
all of a sudden the angles of light that are for us and the frequencies that are coming to us uniquely. Mm -hmm. And let me say something about this, Brother Rich. Mm -hmm. Each of us has a unique set of light wave frequencies that are coming to us. Mm -hmm. From our stars, from our wherever we're at in the cosmos. We're just, the body is just a, it's like a, a, a vessel that's picking up. It's your spaceship on Earth, but it's not you. Mm -hmm. Your frequencies are traveling, right, on waves of light. And they're coming as angles. And your body picks them up. Your body becomes like a prism. You see? Or it can become a prison. Prism and prison are very close. Right. Are you locking the frequencies in and not letting them out? Or are you letting them flow? When you are ready to realize that the angles of light here are here for you and that what you've been through has been a part of the process of you becoming the master because the master must be tested. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those people who are the best will be tested. The masters must be tested. Yes. You see, you see? Yeah, you got, man, again, I'm sorry, man. You got If me, you're talking I, about master, yeah. you're going to be tested. You just can't be, you read a book and you got right. a hat and you got a degree at the school and now I'm a master. I met this dude one day, man. And I was out in LA at Whole Foods and the guy came up to me and he had these like little genie slippers on and this all this outfit. And he says, how are you, sir? I says, I'm doing good. He says, I, I'm Shaman Dave. I said, you're Shaman Dave? He said, yeah, I'm Shaman Dave. I'm a shaman. I said, yeah, well, you really? I says, uh, he says, you know anything about shamanism? I said, well, I've heard about it. You know, I'm acting like I don't know too much. Yeah. And he says, yeah, you know. I said, well, how'd you become a shaman? Well, I went to the Shaman Institute. I said, where's that? <laughs> he said, man, it's in Arizona, man. I went, I, man, I went, you know, I graduated from the Shaman Institute. And I'm looking at this cat. He's got, the, he's got a van, and it says across there, Shaman Dave, and he's got it wrapped. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, this is deep, man. He's Shaman Dave. <laughs> Do you know what even a shaman is? I remember when I was, you know, when I was, you know, they were asking me, you know, in, in the tribe, you know, they were asking me, did I want to become, did I desire to become a shaman or a medicine man? And I said, well, what's the shaman got to do? And they said, well, what we're going to do is we're going to take you out in the jungle mm -hmm. and we're going to have you dig a hole six feet deep and you're going to get in the hole naked and we're going to put a cloth across the top and we're going to leave you in the forest alone by yourself. And if you lose your mind, which a lot of people do, we'll mm -hmm. take care of you from now on because you're going to snap. Damn. Because there's snakes and spiders and stuff crawling. You're naked in a hole in the forest six feet deep, which represents you going to death. You got to be ready to die to be a shaman. You got to go into the death of people. You got to go into the, the most deep place within people to try to pull them out. They call it the shaman's death. Mm. And I was like, well, what, is, what's, what, what else could we do? He says, well, there's another one where, you know, we bury you up to your neck, right? Naked again. It's always naked. And what we do is your head is exposed and the people from the village come around and they defecate and urinate all around your head. And you have to sit there and take it. If you make it, then you're a shaman. Wow. If you come out of that hole, we come in the morning and you haven't snapped, your eyes ain't moving independently and you haven't screamed and crawled out the hole and scratched your skin off, then you're a shaman. Wow. I was like, no, <laughs> well, I'll just, what, 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 what other choice? I said, well, medicine man or medicine woman, you just offer people <clears throat> herbs and medicine and music and things that they must use to help themselves. You're just offering. I said, okay, <laughs> let's go with the medicine, man. Because the shaman's death is deep. But I just want to say this real quick. See, a lot of these titles that we have now, mm. people be giving themselves these names, mm. and they choose it. Like, I didn't choose Dr. B. Serious. I didn't choose. That name was given to me. Sometimes you choose stuff, you know, too quick. Mm -hmm. And you've just you just want to be it, and this is the thing. This is a part of the imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. You just want to be something, so mm -hmm. you put on all the outfit and the habits, right, to mm -hmm. become something. But we're really not that yet. We're not ready yet. You see, even some of the beings that are that we keep seeing in these ships, they, they, it ain't time for them to land yet. You heard about when they landed in Compton in the forties? Mm -hmm. You hear what they ha what happened in the forties? The ships landed on Compton Boulevard, mm -mm. and they the guy, guys got out with their little suits, and went for a walk around Compton, mm. and they came back, and the ship was gone. Mm. And about a little while later, 
young folks came around driving their ship, had stolen, put rims on it. <laughs> I just said, joke. <laughs> yeah. So the, the aliens told me, we're not coming back to Earth for a while because y'all crazy. Look what you <laughs> feed your people. Look what you do. Look how, look how you treat each other. What is this fakeness you got going on? What You're eating wheat? Gluten? You're eating processed sugar? What are you putting in your food and in your water? And you're allowing people, right, to be sick when you know that you could heal them. You know, even the whole thing with electric cars and all that. Billy was talking about that the other day. You know what I'm saying? This is a deep thing. If you realize what's happening here, but most people are under the control of parasites. Mm. They've become host. That's what we might call the oppressor right now. They're parasitic beings. If they need to use your energy to build their country, they're parasitics, right? They're parasites and you're a host. We've become a host. It's the same thing with physical parasites, which is why detoxification is so important. Somebody called me, you know, just today. They said, well, Dr. B, you know, I signed up for Blueprint. What can I be doing to get ready? I love the prayers. I said, well, if I was you, I would get the, um, the parasite cleanse, 28-day parasite cleanse. Mm -hmm. He said, well, I got one. I got a colon cleanse. I said, no. See, there's a difference between what you call uh, uh, system, systemic parasites and colon parasites. Mm -hmm. We had to create something very special that never existed before to deal with the systemic parasites because the parasites will keep you from being able to use the blueprint. Do you understand? You got to be able to read the blueprint and there's codes in the blueprint because as Billy and I are talking, we're giving code. This is all codified. It's codified, codified. There's right. codes, there's light codes, there's rhythms, there's frequencies and things because in this class, we're actually giving you all the tools. You're getting all the tools. Mm -hmm. There's no question about going to have to study for 20 years. If you do what we're saying, you will manifest what it is you're focusing on as long as you're able to angle your light and you realize that you have to angle your light and change your attitude to change your altitude. So it's just not about us giving you something. We're giving each person something special. And we're speaking in the language, right, where everybody should be able to get a piece of this. But you also would do better if you detoxified your body. And so you can allow yourself to get the best out of this one because this is like 10 times deeper right than god power one i'm just looking at what's coming through when billy and i are talking it's crazy how and it is deep how he and i are almost like it's just like the three of us we're like telepathic mm -hmm. it's like the information is just coming because it's being given to us we're channels right now with like television channels the, the information is coming through and we're here to give it away we're giving it you see, and you know what you're investing is just a little bit, just so we can do the administration and keep this thing happening. Oh, but re re real quick, Doctor, before I forget, uh, somebody um uh, posted earlier that um you didn't get the uh, seven sacred prayers. I'm gonna be sending it out again tonight. I sent it out many, 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 many times. Uh, double, triple, quadruple check, family, your spam, your pro. We had there's spam folders, promotion folders. There's about seven, there's about five different folders out there that um, some of your email goes to. So check those because the email is coming from Eventbrite. I'm using Eventbrite system to send the seven second prayers, but I'm going to be sending it again tonight. And just in case y'all just want to get it directly from me and you bought tickets, this is for people who bought tickets, um, email me tonight. Anybody who has purchased a ticket. Anybody who has purchased a ticket for Blueprint for God Power 2 and has not gotten their seven second prayers, email me tonight. I'm going to be sending out prayers to everybody tonight, seven second prayers tonight. Email me and I'm going to make sure that you will, you get it tonight. I'll double check. Make sure your email is registered in the system. Make sure y'all ain't just lying or something like that. And I will send it to you tonight. So once again, family, email me tonight if you purchase a ticket. And for those who are buying tickets tonight, you will get the seven sacred prayers tonight. You don't even got to wait 48 hours. Anybody who buys a ticket tonight will get the seven sacred, seven sacred prayers tonight. About midnight, I'm going to send them out. So anybody who gets their tickets tonight will get it tonight. Yeah, Gothic. Yeah, I seen you have posted that, Gothic. So, um, yeah, hit me on my email, Gothic, and uh, I'll send that to you, all right? But, um. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, just want to say that real quick, Dr. B. Just want to give everybody that quick announcement. Uh, but you could go ahead, my brother. So what we're saying is, is to receive the messages that are coming at this time. 
to receive because there's notifications, just like you get notifications on your phone or whatever. Yes. There's cosmic notifications coming. Yes. Some folks just don't know what it is. No one told them. They don't know how to see it. But some people have an automatic system of recognition of recognition because they have enough magnetite. See, magnetite is a mineral that helps you with direction. If you've been eating certain foods, you may not have you may not be able to ac access your magnetite, which is like your internal compass. So you're lost and turned out. You're just drifting. When you do certain things, right? When you take gold, iridium, this is very important. Gold, monatomic gold, monoatomic iridium, monoatomic platinum, and monoatomic uh, palladium, they come together and create the vibration needed to create magnetite. These are very rare, what they call M-state minerals, monoatomic elements. Now, a lot of people say, well, I'm taking gold. You might be taking gold, but who told you gold was supposed to be by itself? There's some other things you, you, you could really do by taking some other things and get gold to hang out with his friends because these things come in groups. So gold is great, yes, but are you? what about platinum and palladium? What about iridium? Iridium is your internal time clock. Palladium protects your cells. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, and gold, right? And the, all those together, they help to repair what? Your 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 telomeres. Your telomeres are your, like your little telephone antennas inside every cell. Because in life, you must have a telos. What is your telos? What the heck is a telos, Dr. B? It's the direction. What's your goal? Where would you like to end up? What's your why? What is your why? Where are you going and why? Never mind how. Where are you going and why? If you have a big why and you, you know, your whole thing is about helping other people, then that's great because your why is really big. You, you see what I'm saying? If it's all about me, 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 well, that's not a big why. That's like gonna just cause you to just be shut down because you're not uh, you're not helping the environment by being too me. You know what I'm saying? Too much into yourself, too much ego. So when you start setting up, you know, this thing where you, you know, your, your whole thing is about helping other people, helping other beings or just being there for others or just listening or being the, the person you need to be for the garden. Because really what we are is we're gardeners on the planet. You see, so there are so many things that make this thing happen. That's why, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm so excited right now. I got to calm down. Take your time, brother. Take your so time. the platinum. You take the platinum product that I have on my website, Platinum Life Elixir. Yes, sir. It helps you with your direction so that you can know how to know when and when to know how. It ain't not enough just to know how to know when. You got to know when to know how. You could be the right person at the right time, but be the wrong. Well, you could be the right person and be there at the wrong time. Or it could be the right time and you're the wrong person. You want to be the right person at the right time so that when the ships come, when the imaginal cells, which are little spaceships, by the way, when they arrive, you're able to ride. This is an internal thing. It's a personal thing. So we, we would do best by detoxifying our system as we move into the eight vibration, as we move into the God power. Detoxify your system from parasites, from heavy metals, from chemicals, from false sense of securities and all the lies and the stories. Detoxify yourself from all that stuff so you can be there ready to allow. Allow. Oh, by the way, the, for those folks who go to Elevation Time right now, elevationtime.com and you'd like to participate in the parasite cleanse, this is the God power cleanse. And I'm going to talk about that in one second, okay? Hold on. You use the code ALLOW up until Saturday, and you'll get 10% off of everything, okay? I got to say this real quick, Rich. When I was working on the new parasite cleanse, which I just finished the other day, because I change it every season. It's always different. Graviola was, was in my, you know, my, my medicine cabinet, my herbal cabinet, and it fell on the ground a pound of graviola and I put it up and it fell out again. It fell out like three times. So I said, graviola, why graviola? Graviola was calling to be used in the program. I don't use graviola in the program. I use graviola in something called, you know, X factor, which is for like, you know, dealing with, you know, 
cancer-like activity or cells that are moving backwards retrograde, you see. What I realize is that most of our cells are moving backwards because we've programmed them with so much toxicity mentally, physically, and spiritually, your cells are moving retrogrades. We're talking about Mars or whatever, the sky, Mercury's retrograde. Most people are the retrograde. They're moving against the natural order and the natural law because we got caught up in this system and we got to break free now. We don't have time anymore. There's no more time. You had a grace period for like 70 years. It's over. Either you know now or you, you know, that you just you wait for another train. The other thing that fell out right after Graviola was something called mimosa. Mimosa is something they use for snake poison. And I was like, why does mimosa, which is the touch me not plant, why would it like to be in this formula? Because the mimosa also helps with the snake-like kundalini energy the way it moves up the spine. What? So we put together a God power detoxification program. It's called the Elevated Total Body Program. It's at elevationtime.com right now. Elevationtime.com. It's just for this particular time so that for those who would like to go to the next level, right? You can use that to help flush things out because we're going into fall anyway. So it's time, what, to detoxify your body, you know, and your mind when you're going, you know, when the sun grows across the equator. Because we're going into the into into the into the fall. And your energy drops. So we're saying that we're offering it all right now. You you know, so now you can you you get the you use use allow code to get your you know 10% off of your, your herbal program, but you're also going to get the seven prayer, seven sacred prayers when you sign up. Why? Because it, it was the genius of Brother Rich that realized that some folks ain't gonna really be able to really pick up the information unless they start to learn to meditate and pray now. So we're going to give them seven sacred prayers offered by masters and teachers so that folks will be in alignment with themselves and ready to absorb this information. Then he went further and he said, Dr. B, put together a, 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 a what do you call it? A sound bath. Sound bath. Right. And I was like, well, sound bath. He said, yeah, you know, I said, yeah, I know about sound baths. I said, but I don't really, you know, I, I like to go further than a sound bath. I like to do something called a sonic immersion. Yeah, you right? a sonic immersion experience which is past the sound bath mm. that's way past the sound bath sound bath is for your mind this mm. is for all of your body because it causes you to resonate at these other frequencies so that you can bathe away the toxicity so that you can dance your way out of your restrictions is that a song <laughs> <laughs> Then we, you know, we went and got, you know, Michael Beckwith. And I'm calling Michael Beckwith. You know, he's really busy. This is the guy from The Secret. And I said, hey, Mike, how you doing, man? I said, look, we're doing God. Oh, my God, power's off the chain, man. I, I'd like to be down. I said, but look, we'd like you to be down. Well, could you possibly do a opening and do a special meditation that helps us have the right angle as we move into the God power event? So now we've got, you know, Dr. Michael Beckwith from Agape. He's doing the opening. This is becoming more than just your average event. Yeah, man. This is becoming <laughs> the mothership. <laughs> this is how you ride. Swing down, <laughs> sweet chariot. Stop <laughs> and let me ride. We are riding. Ooh. This thing is it's like it's growing. And each day, I, it's like I, I can hardly even sleep because so Shit. many things are coming to me. And I realized, I was like, you know, we, we talk about starting at 11 o'clock. <laughs> I'm gonna need another hour. Did you did you fix that yet? Yeah, we're we gonna start. We're gonna we gonna we're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. You got to, yeah. man, because it's a it's a bunch of other pieces that are coming that we need to share now. So that when we move through the real Christmas, which Ooh. I talked about in the first God Power, yeah. This real Christmas here is the one where the gifts come and we get more of the penaline, which is the sacred on ointment oil, the yeah. Santa oil is gonna flow this year more than any other year. Now, I don't know how Dick Gregory and my other teacher, Dr. Kwekwondo, knew this, but they said it because we're setting this whole thing up for 2004, 2005, 2007. I mean, not 2000, but I was way back. 2020, 2024, 2025, 2027. 
23, 24, 25, 26, 27. It's a sequence. It's a code. And everything is in alignment because all of the things that have happened, the shifts from since 1987, when they saw Supernova 1987A, I'm going to say it again, Supernova 1987A, please go look it up. Supernova 1987A, which is the same year that they was able to actually sequence the genes because of the green light coming from Supernova 1987A, uh, B. And also the children that were born from 1987 are the crystal children, which are guiding us. So some of them, you're calling them autistic and you're calling them these names. They're actually so deep that they may not speak or act the way you like to act because they're showing us the way. If we just be quiet, just talk to them because they're more telepathic. We're all becoming telepathic. So our genes are telomeres, right? The, the pieces of our genes that are picking up the frequency are saying we need to be told where we're going. What's our telos? What? is the telos. A telos is when you have a goal in your mind of exactly where we are going. Where we're going, you ready for this? And I'm going to let you talk. Mm -hmm. Where we're going is where we're from. Mm. Talk That's to him. where we're going. Talk to him, Dr. B. We're going where we're from. See, they flipped the whole thing on you. Yeah. Who did it? The adversaries. Why, why do they have to do that? Because your adversary's job is to test you, to see if you're great enough, if you're good enough, if you're going to go past the illusion. If you're going to realize that the evil is the same word as live, it's the same thing. Everything is connected to its opposite. It's beautiful once you realize why you've been through all this pain, all this stuff. It's because you're becoming a master. And if you don't master this, guess what? You'll just be what? In chronic servitude syndrome, you're a slave, you're a sheeple. For the rest of your life. So we're saying, come on, let's ride. Oh, yeah. And, and this is not the only train. There's many trains. There's a lot of people on this right now. Yeah. We're saying that we're offering this in a very special package on very a very special. special day. And I want to thank you, Brother Rich, for even putting this thing together, man. Because when you called me in the beginning, I had no idea how deep this was. Even my own, within my own self. It's changing <laughs> me. The changes yeah. that I have been through oh, yeah. just in the last year, yeah. it's deep. Because we're all going through it. And these are ascension symptoms. Sometimes mm. the pain, the headaches, the dizziness. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? The other day I was sitting in my car and I forgot even where I was for a minute. I was just sitting there. I was like, oh, where am I? Mm. And I was like hearing this music and all this stuff. Then I got this phone call to do this project. And the music I was hearing as I was sitting in this, this parking lot, for, didn't know who I was for a second. Yeah. The music I was hearing was this project that they just got me to do wow. and I just will tell you real quick it's Michael Jackson he was, he was telling the me Michael phone. Jackson symphonic release is off the chain and they asked me to do it and the sounds are all sacred sounds that they put with Michael because Michael was telling the story and Michael was tapped into this that's all I can tell you it's big it's coming out next year <laughs> But I had lost my mind for a minute and I didn't know where I was. A lot of people need to lose their minds for a minute because that's when you can hear the angles of light, the arc angles, the arc angels, the angels of light. Are you calling yourself from yourself to yourself? You're going to end up where you're from. And this is the time. Let's ride. Uh, ain't, ain't no other place I would love to be more than where I'm from, Dr. B. <laughs> Yo, I'm so excited, man. Yo, you got me so hyped. Yo, you get me hyped more than anybody, man. I swear, man. You be, you and Billy, man. I, that's why I'm glad I'm doing this shit, this workshop with y'all, man. Y'all be getting me hyped by the end of the show, man. Oh, man. This is this is beautiful, y'all. Listen, I want to get a few questions from the family before we get out of here. Uh, yeah, Dr. B, you don't have to spend too much, too much time on the answers because I want to get out of here soon. Uh, but I appreciate... Oh my God! I appreciate. Let, let's listen to one, let's listen to thirty more seconds of this. Everybody. Oh, so one more thing. I'm excited. I'm 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 fumbling my words. I'm so excited, y'all. Um, everybody who bought tickets tonight for Blueprint for God Power Two will get their seven sacred prayers tonight. You don't even have to wait forty eight hours. Anybody who has not gotten it for whatever reason, email me tonight. 
while I'm sending everybody these prayers, if you have already purchased a ticket and you did not get it, email Brother Rich at richandmerit at yahoo.com. I will take your email, confirm that you got a ticket first, and then if once you confirm that you got a ticket, I will send it to you. So by the end of the night, tonight's one of them nights I need everybody with their seven sacred prayers. It's uh, September 13th right now. So by the end of the night, uh, everybody will have, well, by the early morning, everybody will have, because I'm sending out probably in about an hour. I'm going to relax for a second, then I'm going to send it out in about an hour. How much is the ticket? Click on the link. You got you got the price, the info, everything you need. Click on the link. The link is at the pin at the top of the chat. The link is also in the description. But I want to take... Um, I want to take some questions from the family uh, real quick before we get out of here. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Let, let me just I, I just got it. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm going to give you about 30 more seconds, man. 30 more seconds. Will you post his website, please? What's your website? Just write it down, sis. Elevation. Down. Elevation time dot com. Elevation yep. Time T I M E dot com elevation oh. time. Use oh. the discount code allow. That's good till Saturday. Hold on, elevation time dot com. Can you put it in there for? Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm put it because just because I forgot some of these people be on um their phones. Elevation time because I already got one thing pinned. Uh, elevation time uh, T I M E elevation yeah. time dot com. Yeah, I can't pin it because the other on um, the workshop is pinned, but it's right there for those who uh, uh I, I forget some of y'all be on the cell phones or something, so y'all can't write it down or whatever. People be in the car and shit like that. So yeah, yeah. So um elevationtime.com. And let me uh give me a second, y'all. Let me put this back up. And also when you go to elevationtime.com, you can also sign up for the blueprint for power. Blueprint for God Power by yeah. going to events. Go yeah. to events and you'll see it there. You can sign up there also. And the platinum, the platinum is amazing. Uh, his tonics, uh, the Dr. B's tonics, absolutely amazing. Uh, let me get to this because I'm going to get to a couple of questions. Let me get to this real quick, y'all. Uh, I, I can't. Yeah, I'm gonna listen to that. Oh man, that's something. Somebody said missing rich missing all the questions. Yeah, my mind is my mind is in another world right now. Y'all telling me to write this, do this, man. My mind is in in, in heaven right now. <laughs> Dr. B got my mind in, in, in space right now. I can't even concentrate on the questions or anything in the chat right now because I'm just he don't he 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 blew me away with this conversation tonight. And uh his energy just, if y'all notice, Dr. B from last year and this year, his energy just went up a notch. So this is what, like, wow, this is amazing. This is like totally amazing. Uh, let me let me focus. Let me focus, y'all, because I know y'all asking me to do things. Y'all got questions. Let me focus. Let me let me let me let me calm down. <laughs> I got too excited, so I could get to a couple of questions. All right, I'm I'm, I'm calm now. <sighs> Breathe, right, I'm, breathe. I'm back, y'all. I'm back to earth. I'm back to earth. All right. Um, let's see. All right, Dr. B. Um, what is the key to discipline? It, first, you must choose an outcome, a goal. So let's say you're the captain of a ship and you're going to go out to sea because this is what you are. You need to know what you would like to do? Where would you like to go? What is your direction? So once you choose a goal, one goal, simple goal, something could be for today. The thing is, is that 90% of your journey towards that goal is called course correction. 
no matter what happens around you, no matter how much mass distraction, and there's a lot of that happening right now, you must keep focusing on the goal, keep going back to the goal. Even if you get lost, you go back to the goal. What is your goal? What is your goal? You have to be goal-minded, gold Minded. That's why on all those old stories, they talk about the ancient gold mine and finding the treasure map, following the treasure map. Mm -hmm. The treasure map is a blueprint that shows you where the gold mine is buried. Mm -hmm. The gold that they were talking about was the gold within you, in every one of your cells, the penaline in your that's being emitted, excuse me, by your pineal. The key to discipline is to stay focused no matter what on the goal. And never give up. Mm. Never, ever, ever. And don't let anybody talk you out of it. Don't even let your own other self, the devil within you, talk you out of what your goal is. So the key is first, and this, this is very important, is to choose one goal. Now, once you choose the goal, the next thing that's going to be help you with discipline is why. Your why has to be big. Why would you like to get to the place you're going? So let's say it's health. You know, you'd like to be healthier or you'd like to be wealthier. Or you'd like to meet, uh, you know, somebody, you know, that you, you'd like to meet somebody and have this beautiful love affair. Why? What is it going to be? Why? Why are you doing it? If you've got a garden, why are you doing it? It could be just so that the bees can come and have some place to get some pollen. That's a good why. Most people don't have a good why. They don't have a good goal or good why your goal is where you're going. That's your telos and your angle. Then the next piece is your why, why are you moving towards that goal? Now you let nothing stop you. No matter what you stay on this thing, no matter what, even if you drift, cause you're going to drift cause the wind's going to blow you. 90% of your journey is course correction. Discipline is, is having the ability to get back on the goal no matter what. And remember this old saying, the squeaky wheel gets to grease. Mm. My grandfather used to say that. Now, you know, boy, if you had a wagon, right, the only wheel that you're going to put some grease on, some oil on, is the one that's squeaking. So that says that if you are doing what you're doing and you don't stop, you become the squeaky wheel. You get the attention. You get the focus. You got to keep calling clients. You just don't call a couple clients and say they didn't want to buy it or they didn't, they weren't with you. you whatever you're doing, you got to keep doing it. You don't give up. That's the key. That's the discipline. You see what I'm saying? You got to become the, the, the you got to become the lighthouse and you have to be shining your light no matter what. That's the key to discipline. So even if you get off course and you backslide, you get back up and you keep going. And guess what? After a while, you reach critical mass. If you keep doing something over and over and over, it's the repetition of pleasure or pain that gets you where you're at. It's the repetition of a thought, the repetition of an idea, the repetition of words that you got to keep walking, keep walking, go out into the field, the field of possibility and lay down in that grass. And when you lay down in that grass, there's no words, but stop talking about and telling everybody what you're doing, your goal, shut your mouth. Now, all of a sudden, because a lot of times discipline is closing your mouth about what your true, true goal is. Stop telling everybody and stop mm. telling yourself you can't and you won't. And what reasons why you have to create magic. I can do magic. I think it's a new song out by somebody <laughs> talking about that they could do magic. <laughs> you see, I can do magic. I can do magic. You can. But you have to have a goal and be goal minded. Do you know that song, Brother Richard? Is it? Does it sound familiar? I can do magic. Man, that's that's my favorite song right now, man. Was that on, was that on? <laughs> it's on the radio. It's, it's on, on the radio. radio. It's, it's in the clubs. It's everywhere. Remember we talked about uh remember we talked about um uh mind rehearsal. I forgot what word we used for it, but um uh, yeah, man, it's everywhere, man. <laughs> and you know, you just said something mind rehearsal. I gotta hit this real quick. Yes, sir. You must become a remote viewer. Yeah, Billy's gonna talk about that. Yes. Billy, Billy's going to touch. Yo, man. Yo, Dr. B, man. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. When you become a remote viewer, you're watching yourself from another place. Yes. When you become the observer. Yes. When you could see yourself 
from another place outside of yourself and just watch yourself, now you can change course. Now you become the captain. Mm. You see what I'm saying? If you're too caught up in your story, there's a really good book called The Fifth Agreement by Don Miguel Ruiz, I think, and his son. The Fifth Agreement. It talks about this. You have to redefine yourself. Mm -hmm. You can't ask other people because the movie that they're seeing of you is different than what you think they see about you. What you think other people think about you is different than what you think about yourself and what they think about you. We're not good mind readers, but what we can do, huh? what we can do is get to the place where we're remote viewing. You're outside of yourself, watching yourself without emotion. Mm. And just view yourself. That's when you begin to push the buttons and say, okay, this is what I need to change. This is what I can change. These things. Let me just change these few things. And now let me stay focused on that telos. Mm -hmm. And watch what you're telling yourself. Because what you're telling yourself and what you're calling yourself becomes your telos. Mm -hmm. We're going to get deep into that. because, And this is another thing I'm going to hit that I haven't hit you know, before. Is the language of empowerment. There's certain words that I'm using. Mm -hmm. And there's a certain way that I'm saying certain things. Once you learn the language of empowerment, because you were taught, you were taught the language of slaves. You were taught by parasites how to be a host and how to keep yourself right in a place where you're enslaved. You're, you're, you, you don't realize that your oppressor has oppressed you to the point where you have become oppressive and now you become an oppressor too. Mm -hmm. Because you've been, you know, you, you, you've, lived, you've lived in the world of oppression. So you think that this is okay. You don't realize that some of the clothes you're wearing, some of the foods you're eating, some of the things you're saying, some of the ways you're acting are oppressive. They're oppressive to others. They're oppressive to yourself. They're oppressive to yourselves. They're oppressive to your original divinity. Mm. You are oppressing yourself, which is depressing, suppressing, repressing. And don't tell me what you don't have and how many problems you got. Because there's people right now. I mean, the man that invented the cell phone, he was in a, in a jungle, in a, in, a, in a village in Africa with no technology. He invented the, the, the cell phone. George Washington Carver, he invented so many things. It was ridiculous. All he had was a suitcase with a, a pen, a pad, and a pencil. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, how are you doing this? He says, I'm listening. The plants talk to me. The universe will talk to you once you get out of your head, once you are able to let go. So some of the things we're going to teach you is the language that allows you to be great. Mm -hmm. Not just greetings and the way we answer the phone now, oh boy. And, you know, we got these things we say that we think are deep. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. I'm not talking about your stuff. I'm saying that there is a way to allow your best self to come online. And it's a language it's a way of speaking and you're speaking as if I ain't even going to give it to you. <laughs> Why you do that for man? <laughs> Why you do that for man? Oh man. Let's okay. So this is a good question. Dr. B. I'm not sure we um decided this yet. They want to know what will be the process of selecting the three people that are chosen to spend the day with y'all. We're going to put papers in a, in a hat tickets in a cat and <laughs> We shake it up. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> See, that's some Billy Carson and Elizabeth. They do that kind of stuff. But yeah, there won't be. They'll they'll be like it's random, right? You, you know what I'm saying? So yes, and that's that right there is huge. Those yeah. three people first. Everyone involved in God Power One, put it in the chat room that you talk about it has changed. Yes. Even the people that took it that didn't keep practicing, it was so deep within their, in between the conscious and the subconscious, the information is still there. Mm -hmm. you, you shifted. You had to shift mm -hmm. because we did it on a seven. Why do we do it on a seven? Why do we pick a seven? Why is he picking October 29th? Add that up. Come on. What's October 29th, 2023? What's that add up to? See, it's all about mathematics, right? So those three people are going to have another type of visceral experience that will shift the whole planet. And you will choose yourself. How do you win in the world? You see yourself winning. You feel yourself winning. You know that you're a winner. Everybody is a winner. 
once you put yourself in the winner's circle. So, yes, I'm not sure, but this is Billy Carson and Elizabeth are coming up with a way to, you know, have, you know, this random select. Because it's going to be a lot of people who are going to be involved in this. I mean, it, oh, it last year, I mean, like this this last one was, uh, you know, historic. And we're going far beyond that already. There's so many people that are like, listen, you know, I got to be there. I got to be there, Dr. B. Will there be room? Will there be time? You know, you got to, and there's a, only a certain amount of bandwidth which we found out during the first one that, you know, the internet can handle. You know, the, do you know AT&T called me today and said that I needed to up the speed of my internet? I said, why? This is because you're at the top of the bandwidth. I said, well, I got a thousand. They said, that's the most. They said, no, it's like 5,000 now. So what do you mean? They said, well, we're, 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 you know, we're, we're running out of lanes. We're running out of bandwidth on the internet. The internet is full now. What mm -hmm. do you mean? We're building a new ultra internet. Wow. Because the internet is full. Can you imagine half the people in the world are on cell phones? There's mm. people in jungles and in the villages. They might not have too much, but they got a cell phone. Because mm. mm. everybody wants to be online. So what we're saying is that, you know, by getting involved quickly and not waiting, you see what I'm saying? Don't, you know, get, get in now because what we're experiencing, what I personally am experiencing, I would like to share. And it's magical. It's really beautiful. And I'm here. My thing is to share what I have. While I'm here in the flesh, give it all. I'm giving it all away. Don't right. hold on to anything. Let go. They used to say, let go and let God. Take 10 steps closer. They take, take one step closer to God. God takes 10 steps closer to you. I don't <laughs> wonder what they're talking about. Do you know that's some deep stuff right there? Yeah, because the God they're talking about is inside you. When they're talking about Jesus, they're talking about Mises. And when we all come together, it's Weezus. We is us. <laughs> Me is us. <laughs> How you go from Mises to Weezus? Oh man, yeah, Billy did that. The other day. We, you know, we did a webinar together on Saturday, and I said Mises, and Billy said, "Oh wow, man, that's deep. I never even thought about that one." Bean. He says, "Oh my God, Weezus, Weezus, go from Jesus." To Mises, to Weezus, we is us. We've been it all the time. We've been looking out, looking up in the sky, waiting to be saved. When right. the Savior is your mitochondria, right? Oh. That's your gut bacteria. Also, it is in us. We have to point to us. It's in us. It's not outside. It's the divinity that we all, all, everyone has it. It's just about accessing it. And some folks, they would like a blueprint. So we're Indeed. offering that. More questions? Yeah, I, I want to, uh, yeah, before I give a, um, oh, yeah, of course, this question. Uh, yeah, uh, can we rewatch it if we can't watch it live? Yeah, of course, you will have um, lifetime access to it. Also, if you, got, if you purchase God Power Part 1 and you can't find your link, hit me on the email also. I know I got to get back to some of y'all on the email a couple of y'all um, who purchased God Power One can't find your link or is having a problem accessing it. Um, I'm going to go through my emails. Hit me up also on the email, richandmerit at yahoo.com. But uh, yeah, you definitely will have lifetime access to God Power uh, Part Two. Dr. B, real quick, since you mentioned um, the, the whole magic thing, I want to show you and the people a clip. We actually filmed this video on Saturday. And um, I'm, we're currently getting it edited. I just want to show you a clip. Real quick. This is behind the scenes. Y'all know we shot the video for I Can Do Magic. This is a, a quick behind the scenes uh, um, clip real quick of uh, when we was filming the video. Oh, God. Where I put it at? My desktop is so cluttered. Hold up, y'all. Oh, boy. Hold up, y'all. Dr. B, while I look for this clip real quick, tell them the website one more time uh, to get the deep the herbs. Uh, elevationtime.com. That's elevationtime.com. And also make sure you get on the email list just by, you know, when you purchase, you're not on the email list. You have to actually go and get on the newsletter list, which is on the front of the site. But that's elevationtime.com. And to get 10% off of everything in your cart, but over $99, uh, you put in the code ALLOW. 
allow. And if you join as a member, you get another 10% off. So and the cleanse that we just put together is called the Elevated Total Body Program. But it is especially tuned for the God Power event. I've never done something like this, but they, you know, they come to me and talk to me. The beings talk through me and they said, put something together for the God power people so that they can really receive without all the resistance that you get from parasites. And everybody's got parasites. I don't care. You can tell them you use a vegan and all that, unless you live in, in a hermetically sealed uh, spaceship. If you're on the planet, you're going to get parasites. And now, right now we're dealing with what they call superbugs. You know what I'm saying? It's real different because a lot of this is weaponized, you know, stuff that they sprayed on countries when they drop bombs and things. So uh, that stuff is in our environment. And, you know, what we're saying is there is a way to detox, but you can't just use herbs. You got to use flower essences, essential oils. We're using vibrating uh, vibrational frequencies. We're using this light, we're using this magical light wave that we now can you know, emit this energy in the herbs that brings them up at least 10 times. So we're using all new technology and old techniques to create these products. So everything on the site, right, is new. And also that product, Platinum, Platinum Life Elixir, is the one that takes your pineal and brings the frequency up, but it also helps to reduce heavy metals and clears the way so that you can have a clear telos. All right. Yeah, definitely hit up that website. Shout out to everybody. The God Power, Dr. B done concocted a special detox just for y'all. I mean, that's that's something right there. Let me just show y'all this clip real quick, then we're going to get to one more question that we're going to get out of here. It's getting late. I appreciate everybody for watching. This is just a behind-the-scenes quick clip. Uh, we shot the video for I Could Do Magic. So I just want to show y'all. We had an uh, amazing time. Shout out to everybody that came. Uh, check this out, y'all. Uh, oh, see, this is it's not, it's not playing. See, this is crazy. Maybe y'all won't. Maybe y'all won't be getting a clip. I don't think y'all will be getting a clip. All right, let's get to a question in the meantime. Uh, while I see if uh, somebody says, how often... Do we need to detox with your parasite? Um, every time the seasons change is the time to detoxify from, from sy systemic parasites. Because when the sun crosses the equator and goes through its four phases, you know, everything changes and the parasites change their frequency. So there's certain, fre there's certain parasites that are more active in the spring. Some are more active in the summer, summer, fall and winter. So what we do is we change the frequency and some of the elements that we put in the program every season. This is why, you know, I can't mass produce this, this, these, these, these products that I create. I can't mass produce them because these factories can't do this. We're using a whole lot of, of what you might call cosmic or spiritual energy to create them. And I have to touch them. Some of the things I have to pick, I have to put everything together myself. I can't get a crew to do it because they're not tapped in that way. This came to me. It's very private. So you'll notice that sometimes you, you, know, you, go, to, you go to the website and things are sold out and people are getting upset. But when you're going to get it again, I have to be tuned to a frequency. You see, it's about becoming an adaptogen. When you become an adaptogenic person, you adapt to what's happening in the environment. So I'm adapting to what I'm being told and listening to the <clears throat> instructions. And that causes, you know, the frequency to be attuned to where we are right now, where we are right now. We were not at last year at this time. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what we're doing is we're saying this particular season is very special. So we're creating seasonal products and we're doing them by hand in small batches. So this is a small boutique situation. So be patient. But ElevationTime.com and the, 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 the very special one is called the Elevated total body program and also that platinum the platinum life elixir right now is that's just those two those are amazing i think i'm doing some of the best that i've ever done creating some of the best formulations i've ever done in my life indeed indeed um yeah we're gonna do one more question here so the video are uh, the files too big i forgot these are the raw files that's why i can't play so y'all gonna have to wait but let's get to another uh question in the chat let's see let's see let's see uh somebody wants to know where is it are your words more powerful during the night dr b well i don't know about your words but your thoughts and feelings are different during the night than they are during the day because in the day they're affected by the sun 
right? The sun is has a lot to do. The corona, the 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 vibrations that are coming to you from the sun during the day is strong, right? And it's shading out the frequencies that you'd get from all the other stars. The stars, right, are picking up frequencies from these old, some of them, you know, some of those stars are not even there anymore. You're mm. just getting the light now. So at nighttime, the energy changes when the sun goes down because the brightness of the sun, right, is down. So now you're able to pick up these other frequencies. And what you notice is you'll probably naturally talk different at night than you do in the day. You'll mm -hmm. walk different. You'll talk different. If you could be quiet enough to listen and watch the changes in people. Like somebody told us to go to bed early, right? They said, you got to be to bed at this time and wake up to this time. But that was for who? Who, who were they telling that to? Because we're night people. The melanin comes on, not online at night. You see, I'm not telling you what you should do. I'm just saying that at night you're picking up the star energy. Like I'm not into sun gazing. People are like, sun gaze, that's the greatest thing in the world. If it works for you, great. You know what works for me? Stargazing. Because my light, my energy, I now know is coming from Sirius. And when Sirius begins to blink for me, red, white, and blue, that means we're connected. And I receive downloads, but more important than a download. You ready for this, Brother Rich? Mm -hmm. More important than the download you're waiting on is your upload. What frequencies are you sending out? If your frequency is aligned with goodness, greatness, passion, beauty, you know what I'm saying? Harmony. If you're if what you're sending out into your environment is tuned that way, you're going to get more and more because the universe begins to wave to you. So it sends you waves of energy and you wave back. And the more you celebrate what you've already got and wave back, she, the center, Hanab Ku, the universe, the, 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 the cosmic web begins to send you more, more information. But you got to upload. What are you sending out? Never mind what you're waiting to get. People talking about they waiting to get this. I'm getting a download. What was your upload? What's your upload? Right now you need to be uploading based on your telos. Now, if you are uploading disagreeable information because you're so angry, you've got victimhood, you feel hurt, you feel slighted, you feel like you're not good enough, you feel like you're missing out. If you have all of those thoughts, that's what you're sending out into the cosmic web. And guess what? It listens to you and send you back more of that. So right now, as much as you can, this is, this is, it's not that easy, but it's simple. Attempt to convert your feelings that are disagreeable into something agreeable. What is the opposite? Mm -hmm. What is the opposite? You see, if you could just hold on to that for just one night, one minute, one second, if only for one night, a thought that is actually something you truly desire. If you can do that, that becomes your upload. What are you sending out every millisecond of the day? What is your message? What are you saying? What are you thinking? If you're thinking that there's a devil and there's evil and there's, you know, I'm a victim and they're coming after me and what the government is doing, oh boy, the aliens are coming to get us. Some of them aliens are coming to get you, to take you home. Because the lot of you, what you call an aliens are you. This is us. Not all of them are good. Now, some of them, you always got a percentage of things that ain't too good to trust you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But but the point is, is that, you know, the upload, what are you sending out? What message are you, what language are you using daily? Are you using your blueprint for God power? Are you tapping into your true divinity? Or are you just living in the world of victimhood and judgment and anger and fear? That's the question. And it may not be easy at first, but blueprint for God power, we're going to give you step by step. And now it becomes simple. Just follow this step. Just do this. No matter how you feel, it's going to feel uncomfortable for a minute. I just breathe, right? You do, you do these special breathings and you start doing the hemi-sync that, that Billy's talking about. You get into what I call the whole brain state. And all of a sudden, you become the upload. And when you get the upload, right, now you start getting the payload. Who <laughs> you've like been that. waiting on a you've been waiting on a download for all these years. Now you realize it's about your upload. 
in mm-hmm. order to get the payload, you need to figure out what is the angle of light that you are broadcasting. Somebody just put it. This is deep. They stole my words. I, I should have copy wrote that. No, I'm joking. <laughs> what are you broadcasting? We're radio stations. We're transceivers. Mm-hmm. We are. I mean, it, we've been missing it all this time. It's us. Mm-hmm. It's not outside you. It's inside you. And no matter who you are, no matter how much you think you don't have something, right? You keep saying what you don't have, you don't. But guess what? If you're being an imposter, get the magazine out one more time. Uh-oh. If you have not figured out how to overcome imposter syndrome, if you just got makeup, fake up, you just doing what everybody wants you to do, what you think is cool, what you think is in style, you're missing mm. it. Because that's what they're giving you. You wouldn't, re- you wouldn't think that a lot of what you're being guided towards is to keep you on the farm when actually the gate is open. The gate to the farm is open for the first time, they say, in 13,000 years. Wow. But 13, when you 000. see those rainbows, you need to know that's a, 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 session, a, a message. When you see those angel numbers, that's a message. for You don't ask me what they mean. Well, Dr. B, what's 111 mean? What's it mean to you? Because it means something different. There is no one meaning. And here, let me, let me just, I'm, I'm finish this off by saying this. I was asked recently, Dr. B, what is the meaning of life? And without speaking, and without thinking, it came to me. Mm-hmm. There is no meaning. Mm-hmm. Life has no overall meaning. What does it mean to you? You. Mm -hmm. Life is based on you and what you mean. What you mean, right, has to do with the golden mean. Check me out now. Hear me good. The golden mean is how you measure a spiral. Are you being spiritual? spirituality means that you're growing and expanding and you're not using the same stuff. You're getting new tools. You got new blueprints. You got new ways of talking all the time. You're changing it and growing. That's the only way trees can live. That's the only way birds and animals live is they're constantly what? Expressing themselves in every moment, the most they can. And every leaf and every, every leaf and every part of the plant is growing in a spiral. Mm -hmm. This is about spirituality and spirituality means you're not staying the same. If you're doing the same stuff, wearing the same spiritual clothes, I got my spiritual jewelry and you've been wearing this stuff and you've been doing this and you're thinking that's a ritual that you're caught up in. It's a cycle. It's a loop. But somebody told you that that was it. And sometimes you're not and Nothing's even changing for you. This is it. Keep on doing it. Just got to keep on. Keep at it. No. When you become truly spiritual, you let go. You open up and expand and change. This is not for everybody. When you realize that the blueprint, it just needed to be what? Unfolded. You needed the code to get into the vault inside of us where the divinity code is. We had it all the time. But because of misdirection, because of our adversary, because of oppression, right? Depression, repression, and because of our own mindsets, we didn't realize that we had to learn how to do what? Outwit the devil within. Ooh. Outwit our adversary. And your adversary, the adversary for love is hate and fear. It's going to be there no matter what. You've got to figure out how to angle yourself towards love. That's mm-hmm. your angle of light. What is your angle of talk? What is your attitude? To get Mm -hmm. to that next altitude, you've got to change your attitude. Hence, we call our company Elevation. Elevation Time. ElevationTime.com. It's time to elevate. You see? Mm -hmm. So that is the blueprint for God power. You Mm -hmm. can do magic. That's what they're talking about. You, everyone has the power to do magic and become majestic. Everybody has it. Mm -hmm. Just not everybody knows how to tap into it. Mm -hmm. But it's time for us to actually do that so we can move into these higher, what they call higher dimensions and things like that. We can't get there just with ego and just with, you know, uh, intelligence and reading books. 
you've got to become the book because guess what they call the the genes or the DNA back in the day was called the books. Mm -hmm. They call it the books because all the information is in you and it's also in the Akasha as above, so below. Mm -hmm. It's just about unfolding and having your experience, right? Be the thing that takes you towards your goal, but you must be goal minded. Mm -hmm. Is this good or good? Great. This is amazing, man. Give me one you more got, question. You got one more? Okay. Uh, let's do one more before we get out of here. That's how you know, Doc, Dr. B. <laughs> you sound like Dick Gregory when you said that too, man. He, <laughs> Dr. B's channeling right now, man. Um, let me get to a good one. Uh, let me see. I don't want that one. I don't want that one. Let me see. Give me one second, Dr. B. Somebody asked me another day, but Dr. B, you know, I got all these haters. I said, that's good. You got haters. They're testing you. Yeah, you're doing, doing something right. Now, people got some negative things to say about you. That means you're almost there. You're getting there. Yeah, yeah. You're having a lot um, of opposition. Guess what? You're getting there. Keep going. <laughs> don't stop. I'm trying to. I don't really see... No question. Hmm. I'm trying to find a good one. I see people. Um, people are mainly talking. Well, what's more? Give me I, one of them, brother. Rich questions. I want to get people an opportunity to um, to elevate their lives. <laughs> All right. Well, let me ask you. Uh, also, you know, on the, let's let's uh, ask you. You said, oh, real quick. I want to give a shout out to the brother who at the um. Video shoot gave me uh, gave me this. Uh, he gave, he actually gave this to me on Stone Mountain. We went up to Stone Mountain. They got quartz crystal at the top. They got magic written on it. They got the Eye of Ra. I forgot exactly. I think this is coral. Uh, they got the Ankh. Brother puts a lot of time putting this together, and I appreciate it. Appreciate this. All the gifts and everything that the folks uh, give. Really appreciate it. Shout out to that brother. I don't know your name. At the bottom it says CK44. So I guess that's his um his name right there, CK44. Shout out to that brother right there who gave me this. I definitely got this in the arsenal. Definitely got this in the arsenal. Uh let me just make sure one more time before. Okay, let me well, let me ask this. All right. I was gonna ask, let me ask this. Okay. Yeah, I got a wand, right? Yeah, that's the one. Um Dr. B, they want to know, is there a specific hertz frequency that is emitted when someone is in their fully activated form? It becomes all the frequencies. When you're hmm. fully activated, all the frequencies, it's like a, it's like this beautiful harmony. On one side is harmony. On the other side is chaos. It's hmm. all happening. You are now a channel for it all. It's not one frequency. It's all the frequencies, all happening at the same time, all sounds. They call that white noise. You know, when mm -hmm. you go to the ocean, mm -hmm. when the wind blows, that's called white noise. That's all the frequencies that could ever happening happen happening at the same time. Mm. There's another phenomena that when I was studying, I used to have this thing where I could taste these things that I didn't know anything about. I'm talking about this in my book. I'm working on my book finally again. And I talk about how I came up with some of these formulas and I was tasting them and smelling them before I even created them. Right. What happens sometimes when you come online, every taste there is happens in your mouth. Every sound you could hear is happening at one time. Everything you could see is happening at one time. There's no longer individual, you know, you know, divisions. It's all happening. This is when you become the all, when you allow the law of the all to work for, with you. There is no one frequency. There's no high, there's no low, there's no good, there's no bad. That is the quantum field. And when you're in the quantum field, it's all happening. All possibilities are happening. All possibilities are happening at one time in an instant. So the the past, the present, and the future are all happening at the at the perfect tense. 
So there's no one frequency. Now, a lot of the things we use, like this bell, this bell rings, this is at 432 hertz per second. This was made in, in uh, India. It's a sacred bell. It's actually a very powerful instrument. That frequency, we would like to use that a lot because it counteracts the 440 frequency that we've been trained, right? The, the 440 frequency that we've been hearing that creates the resistance within us, even in your cells. You know, most of the music is creating resistance. Most of the sounds we hear. This is why it's important to go outside to nature. Like the crickets, right? And in the, in the, in the night animals. Have you noticed that in the early evening, they sound a certain way. And then every three hours, they change. I've been just outside, just listening to the change of nature. It's almost like there's a different shift that happens. All of a sudden, a different group of beings wake up and take over. And the sound, if you, if some of you know about this, the sound of nature now sounds different than it ever sounded. Some of you know what I'm talking about. There Ooh, are flavors. Interesting. Interesting. There are flavors right now, right? Can you hear me, Brother Rich? Yes, yes. There are yes. flavors that people can taste right now that, that have never been able to be, uh, that you've never tasted before. There's things that you're seeing that people have never seen before. It's because we're in a different place. So the best thing for you is not to look for any one frequency. Get to the point where you're allowing all the frequencies, all the vibrations to come through you. Then based on your angle of light, based on your telos, based on the way your, your goal mind is set up, you will go through the wind, through the air, through the water, through the fluidic space, and you will reach your destination. And when you get to your destination, that's where you're from. By opening up to everything and allow. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I made any steps was a lot. Now I don't know if I, <sighs> I don't know. That, that, wow. You know. Hey, hey, Dr. B, man, you did it again, my brother. You did it again. What a show. <laughs> I mean, what a show, what a show, man. The people still here. We still 2,400 deep. We've been on here for over two hours. The people, they, they're they excited. Some of the, uh, uh, some people are purchasing tickets as we speak. Um, a lot of people going to get the sacred prayers tonight. We showed a clip of the um, sound immersion that, you, that you're giving the people. We got a lot done tonight, Dr. B. Talked about the aliens that were discovered, that, were, that was uh, showcased to the world today. September 13th was an amazing day in human history. It was an amazing day in human history. Uh, what, what would you want to tell the people? One last thing you want to tell them before we get out of here, my brother. The last, last thing, thing that I'd like to say is that the music that I am curating and creating right now mm -hmm. for because, you know, we're giving away six or oh, eight, nine songs. Each, each one of us are creating nine mm -hmm. movements that we're gonna be giving away as part of the soundtrack mm -hmm. for Blueprint for God Power. Mm -hmm. The soundtrack, this is a soundtrack which is created to actually take you to these zones and these places where you could receive more information and hold on to the thing. And this is very important. You know, when I was teaching, I used to teach a lot of heavy technical, you know, I was teaching engineering for a little while, you know, audio engineering, and there's a lot of technical information. And I realized that if you play music before the class, Mm -hmm. Right to the audit to, to your class, mm -hmm. and then you teach the technical information, and then you play music at the end. The information doesn't go in through the part of your brain that has to make it logical, mm -hmm. it puts it in through the part of you that says this is only entertainment and it's fun. I, I used to do this when I used to teach school. I would, you know, play music before the class. Started. Any of you who are teachers out there, play music before your class. Mm -hmm. No, I wouldn't play some of that hip, some hip hop and some rock. You need to be careful with some of that stuff a little, you know, you won't play that for your children, but some music mm -hmm. and then play it again at the end. And now the deep information goes into the cellular structure, you know, much better. So mm -hmm. we're creating and curating this music for the God power event. This is separate from everything else you heard about, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I tapped into some stuff the other night that I'm like, whoa, who's playing these keyboards? Who's playing these sounds? 
Where is this coming from? And then I went outside and started recording nature and the crickets changed. The crickets decided to change their frequency and they're now in tune with the music. They're mm. actually a part of the music that we're creating for the God Power event. So you're going to get nine curated pieces. Some of them are music. Some of them are just inspirational sounds that are going to come with this that you can keep forever. And I don't know about what you're doing. I haven't heard none of your tracks. I haven't heard none of Billy's because everybody's, you know, mum is the word. <laughs> but what I am creating, what is coming through, the one they call I is no longer I, it's we. Mm -hmm. I am being channeled in a way and challenged in a way that I've never been before. And I'm excited. So for all of you who are riding, who are ready to get on this love train, let's go. Love train. You know, and just open up yourself. Just, just be open for a minute. Stop thinking like you're, you know, you, you don't have enough and it's not going to be good enough and you're not. Get out of that. Just yeah. allow. Allow yourself to be your best self. And if you just say allow, I allow, I allow, I allow, I allow. Just allow yourself. It means you're just opening up a natural vortex that already existed. You're not working at allowing. Allowing means to just turn on the faucet and let the water come. Allow the law of the all to work through you and become you and take you to where you are from. That's the message here, y'all. It's not yeah. about having a high vibration and a low vibration. It ain't about being conscious and woke. All of that was cool. We That worked for a minute. Now it's being open and being able to be like a good DJ, be a good cut selector and choose and have discernment right. and stop talking about each other and what they didn't do. You know what I'm saying? What happened? Just be into the happening of right now and breathe. If everybody could breathe and celebrate, celebrate this, this particular YouTube channel. Black magic? You celebrate. I mean, there's nothing like this has ever happened before. What Billy Carson is doing right now has never happened before. What we're all creating right now has never, it could never happen before. Mm -hmm. This is the first time this has ever happened. Mm -hmm. Did my voice just change? <laughs> I'm hearing some. Hello, 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 hello. See, who was that? Is that me? <laughs> it's all us. <laughs> yeah, so the best version is connected to the worst version. Mm. The higher you is connected to the lower view. Mm. It's all connected. Once you get that, then you stop judging where you are, where you thought you could be where versus where you think you are. Mm. We're in the best place for this particular time. It's about organizing and reorganizing. It's about directing and redirecting. It's about recycling. And it's about focusing on our telos and allow yourself to move towards that. Mm -hmm. And the most important thing here is stop waiting on a download. Mm. It's time to upload. To upload. Because 2024 will be the payload. And what will be on the payload huh, of the mothership will be all of us that are ready to ride. Swing down, sweet chariot. Come and let me ride. We're all riding on the mothership. The mothership is also called Gaia. Mm -hmm. Gaia is the mothership. We are on the mothership. This is it. But if you think that something outside is coming to get you, and something's coming to save you, you'll be waiting. You're going to be waiting for that bus. You notice that yellow school bus, right? It's yellow, which has got to do with the third chakra. Mm. But there's a black line going through that yellow. Do you know what that's about? Do you know why there's a black line through the school bus? Mm -mm. Why? Because yellow has to do with digestion. It has to do with the third chakra. It has to do with using all your gut instincts and your gut feelings. But if they put a yellow line through the school bus, you're crossing out the gut instincts of the children. Mm. They are putting the children on a bus and wiping out their natural instincts so they could ride to a place of getting a job, working for a prison, and not being themselves, following and being on a farm. Mm -hmm. The black line through the school bus is a symbol of crossing out the third chakra.
so that you could never reach the fourth chakra. You will be a slave as long as your third chakra is crossed out. Mm -hmm. The yellow bus mm -hmm. is crossing out. That's why they're saying now that people are like looking at, well, we got to do something else with the school system. Mm -hmm. We got to change. But we don't only have to change the school system. We also have to change our systems and who we are and just get to this place where we begin to allow the better self to ride mm -hmm. and let go of some of this stuff, all this stuff, you know, and, and it's not easy, but it's simple. Mm -hmm. I am excited, brother. Thank you very much for all that you're doing. Thank your family, your mama, your daddy, your ancestors. And the same thing with brother Billy. Thank you. And all of you out there, thank you very much for supporting, for being a part of this thing. We're all together here. We're all on, on this Gaia together. Let's be thankful. Let's have, let's celebrate what we do have. Let's celebrate where we're going together as a, not even a community. We're becoming a commune. Mm. We're changing the system. This is the new village. What, what you've put together brother here is a village. It's a village. You got a village. Yeah. Billy's got another village and I got a village and all those villages are coming together. Oh yeah. And the sisters right now, right? There's some people say, well, what about the sisters? Let me tell you, there's some sisters coming on starting next year because the time of the sisters is coming. Mm -hmm. That's the time. If you Just hold on for a minute. Don't think that it's just about one thing. It's all happening in a succession naturally. It's all a natural selection. And we're all going to be a part in meat. We're coming to the table. The table is being prepared for us. You see? So what does the rainbow mean? The rainbow has to do with the signal that lets you know that the ships are landing within us. The signal says to get it together. This is the last call. Mm -hmm. You know, to be at the club, this is the last call. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to go home, but you got to leave here. Mm -hmm. Listen to that. You ain't got to go home. You do have to go home, but home is where you're going. So thank you very much. And uh, th I love all of you, everyone. You know what I'm saying? Love, love, harmony. And just remember, you're on, a, you're on a ship. Your body is a vessel. There's a lot of cargo down in your root chakra. There's luggage and ideas and feelings that are not yours. So what we have to do is learn to travel light mm. and take the trash out. Take the ego out and replace it with love mm. and figure out what angle you're on. Who are you really without everybody else? Take off the makeup, the fake up, the high heels, the all the fashion. For one minute, just let that go. Clean up your body. Allow yourself. Clean your breath, your mouth. Mm. And allow all the frequencies that are naturally here to occur. And now you can do magic. Mm. On that note, family, what a night. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. Make sure if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to this video. It's Dr. B Series Black Magic, and we sign out, family. See y'all next time. Thank you, family. Peace and good night.